Hey, what's going on people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today I want to talk to you about an upcoming feature on the Galaxy S22 lineup that you could try right now on your Galaxy S21 and it's called Expert Raw. It's a separate camera app that Samsung made available a few months ago, but they recently updated it. Pretty much, it unlocks the full capabilities of the camera, including the ability to shoot raw on all cameras, not just the wide and the ultra wide, but also both telephoto cameras. And more importantly, you get 16-bit raw. It's honestly really cool to see 16-bit raw on a smartphone. In fact, the only camera that I own that has 16-bit raw is this guy, my RED. This is the only camera that I own that can shoot 16-bit RAW, and this is a 30 plus thousand dollar camera. So it's really cool to see these type of capabilities brought over to a phone. Now, granted, I understand that this is only gonna be capturing RAW photos, and this does RAW video, but it's still really neat to see how we are progressing and all the professional capabilities brought over to a phone, something that can fit right inside your pocket. Now, I'm gonna give you a few examples of 12-bit RAW versus 16-bit RAW versus JPEG and HEIF, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But first, let's talk about how you can get Expert RAW. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, first and foremost, depending on your region, you can go into the Galaxy Store, do a search for Expert RAW, and then download it that way, since Samsung did make this readily available to the masses, but you do have to have a Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, or S21 Ultra. Unfortunately, this didn't work for me. I had to use a separate link because every time I searched Expert Raw in the Galaxy Store, it just wasn't popping up. I'm sure this has to do with my region because I'm here in the US and it just hasn't been brought over to the US yet. But in any case, if you can't find it, click the link found in the description and it will take you over to the download, download it, allow permissions, and then install it. You'll be good to go. You don't have to worry about any bugs, malware, or anything like that because this is from Samsung. So once you have it installed, you'll get a separate app called Expert Raw. Just open it up and you can see it's very familiar. It looks just like the pro mode inside of the stock camera app. If we go into the settings, we have a few options here, including the high efficiency RAW option. So what this does is it allows you to save space on your phone by giving you a more compressed RAW image. You get all the benefits of the RAW image, it's just a smaller file size. If you want the least amount of compression, make sure to toggle that off. This is something new that came with the most recent update, and it's really cool to see Samsung giving you the option to enable this. So. Props to Samsung for bringing more features. This is something that more than likely you'll see on the Galaxy S22 lineup. You also have location tags, tracking autofocus, grid lines, different shooting methods, including the ability to uh, take photos or zoom in and out or control your system volume using the volume rocker. You also have voice commands, and then you have the option to toggle on or toggle off your shutter sound. And then last but not least, we have permissions and a little bit of information about Expert Raw. So if we bounce back to the main page here or your camera, you can see you can switch to your ultra wide, your wide, your telephoto, and then your 10 times telephoto. And yes, you are able to capture 16-bit raw images from all four cameras. And in my opinion, that's huge. So going back to the interface here at the top, we have our timer. We have our metering modes, the same that you would find in the regular pro mode inside of the stock camera app. And then we have our histogram here. At the bottom, we have all of our manual controls, including ISO, shutter speed, EV compensation, our focus, and our white balance. You can manually dial these in, or you can use them on auto just by tapping where it says manual or auto. So basically, it's just a more advanced version of the pro mode found inside of the stock camera app, which I'm a fan of. Now, let me show you something. If we go into our photos here, which by the way, they do save inside of a different album. So these do not tie into your regular gallery. You have to look under the expert raw folder and that's where all your images will be. So just throwing that out there. So if I pull up an image like this one, you can see raw right here in the top right, meaning that this is the raw image and this is going to be a JPEG image. So it does save both. And you can tell by the raw logo right there and also by the file size. So the raw image, the 16-bit raw image, is 26.8 megabytes, whereas the JPEG is three, which is a huge difference in file size. So you can see how much more information is being captured with the raw image. If you wanna edit the raw image, you can edit it inside of Lightroom. So just tap on Lightroom, it'll push that photo over to Lightroom and you can see it right there. And since Lightroom does support DNG raw, you're gonna get all of the tools you need 
to really dial in this photo, including exposure and color controls, plus a lot more. Now, if you don't have an Adobe Lightroom or Creative Cloud subscription, no worries. You can still edit that photo for free using the app Snapseed. So download Snapseed. Once you do, tap on the little share logo or icon right there, select Snapseed, and it will push that photo over to Snapseed. And you can see right here, raw photo editing now available. Go ahead and tap next. And there you go. So that's a free option for you to edit your raw images captured using the Expert Raw Camera app right on your phone. Now let's go ahead and discuss the differences between a 10-bit JPEG or HEIF photo versus 12-bit raw versus 16-bit raw. All right, so I have two images pulled up. Right here on the left-hand side, we have an image inside of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. This is the 16-bit raw image. And then right here, I'm using preview in order to showcase the same image taken in HEIF or JPEG format. This is a 10 bit image. If we look at the details of the image, you can see the size of the JPEG is 2.2 megabytes. And if we look at the size of the 16 bit raw image, it's 29.71 megabytes. So a huge difference in file size, a lot more information in the raw image. And if you just take a look at them, you can definitely see how much better this 16 bit raw image looks. I mean, look at the dynamic range in the shadows here versus here. These are all crushed. And this is not to mention the fact that these are both taken on the 10 times telephoto camera, which obviously if you're not using the expert raw camera app, you cannot take a raw image using the telephoto camera. You can only take an HEIF JPEG image like this. So how awesome is that? Now, here's the biggest difference between the two. Let me show you real quick. So if we go over to the raw image and I go in here and I do like an extreme grade. So we're gonna take the blues and we're gonna turn the blues in the image purple. We're gonna bring up the saturation and look at that. The image doesn't fall apart. Like there's so much color and, and detail and information in this image. There's no artifacts. Everything looks, you know, pretty good. I mean, for a fake looking image, it looks pretty good. So now I have the HEIF or JPEG image pulled up right here. We're gonna go ahead and do the same grade. So go ahead and turn the blues purple. And then we're gonna bring up that saturation and look at all the spots. Like look at the artifacts. You can see them all over. You can see the image is not as smooth as the other one. There's a lot of blotchiness to it. It just looks really bad. And if we go back to that raw image, you can see there is a huge difference. This is the raw image, JPEG. I mean, look at the difference. That's crazy. So that means you could really push these 16-bit raw images a lot more than you can the 10-bit HEIF image. So now let's pull up a 12-bit raw image. So let's go ahead and pull up a 12-bit raw image. So I have one right here. And we can push this one quite a bit. So we could select the blues. We could change the blues to purple, increase the saturation. And the image really doesn't fall apart. I mean, that looks really good. I don't think anybody is gonna complain about a 12-bit raw image. But if we go over to the 16-bit, actually, let's look at the uh, file size real quick. The file size for the 12-bit is 24.14 megabytes. So if we pull up the 16-bit, which is right here, and the file size is 35.40 megabytes. So again, quite a bit more information being captured here, which means that you can really push this image a little bit more than you can the 12 bit. So we'll go ahead and make the sky purple, increase the saturation. We can play with the luminance before it really falls apart, which it really doesn't. I mean, I just crushed the luminance and it still doesn't have a lot of artifacts or anything like that. Granted, no one's gonna be grading their image like this. This is just to give you an example of what you can do and how hard you can push 16 bit raw. If we go back to the JPEG, or not the JPEG, if we go back to the 12-bit raw, sorry, and mess with the luminance, crush it, you can see it still looks good. It's just you're not getting that rich purple because it's not capturing as many colors. So like I said, no one's gonna be grading their image like this, but it's really cool to see how much information a smartphone can obtain. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a few photos here captured in 16-bit RAW that I've edited in Lightroom. That way you can get some more uh, examples and feel for how good Expert RAW is going to be on the S22. And you can try this out for yourself right now with the S21. So there you go. That's how you can try out a brand new Galaxy S22 feature right now on your Galaxy S21 and you don't have to feel left out. 
Let me know what you think about Expert Raw. Have you tried it? Are you looking forward to trying it? Sound off down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.